Right, so we want we'll down the swallow last. Let us see. She will take a wolf. Can we see the effect? The length? Eight hours of precise hit by 50%. Albedo was the oh, health region, no? No, level of uh, toxicity. <laughs> Let us see. Making a grindstone. Next on the menu, we have. Golden Aureoli. <clears throat> oh, so it reduces it if all potions we consume now, allegedly. So, let's take the Blizzard. We're reaching the critical threshold now. Let's take the Swallow. And if we drink any more, we will start feeling definite effects. Had it not been for the reduced toxicity from our, our potion I had with that, would have been in big trouble. I lost half our health. Two roll women's down. Can we loot them? Actually, let's not loot them until we have cleaned out all of them. Both the big bat mower and this minor Drinking this for immediate vitality regen. And it worked. Good. I had no health that we were doing this anyway. Crafty bastards, these ones. No ordinary women's. Oh, not go south, lizard version. We're saved by our. Um, Saved by our, well, all the potions really. Oh, Wild well, egg. Interesting. Messenger scores. F 
I don't remember which one is in Moab because that one is important to us. That was the. Oh, here we go. Head of women, female. And other stuff too. Messenger corpse. Blood stain letter. Take action. The situation demands the name of an organization with secret salutation, the Varden. Okay. Some rings. What's this? Harvel. Damage, 30%. Chance of critical effects, disarm, pain, and precise hit. It's a uh, side grade. Well, it means to arm. Um, Alright, so it meets red sword. Less direct damage, but it gives all the critical effects, really. And this one is just to tear through people. And it looks nice. <laughs> By all means, I'd say this one. This one here is um, it's our baby. Must have died ages ago. Yeah. Okay. Die. The power of preparation. Bloodstained letter which gave us info on Louvarton. Seems that Louvarton belongs to a secret, secret organization. He refused to reveal, reveal any details. When we've done this, I am obligated to do a. Actually, I will do a this. I'm daring enough to save over one of those safe house. Yes, let's see. Blue eyes. Blue eyed beauty from the house for night. Oh, we can click that to see the cart then. Okay. Has an interesting scar in it, it looks just like a vampire bite. Vampires. Vampires are uncommon for these creatures to live amongst humans unnoticed for many years. It seems, however, that it is possible. Taller. He's in the best regarding the forgeries. Woman contract. This one's for the Royal Huntsman. Have some teeth. Mm. Vasca about Salamandra. And that's over there. Actually thinking we'll be going the long way around in case we have encounter some people. Here, we can't drink any potions. That's all we rest and level up. And get on with some brewing because we've got plenty of good potions now. Right Maybe there's also a cockatrice out in the woods, who knows? Maybe the druids have something something new and interesting to tell us. I mean that's something I would enjoy. Hereford. Hmm. Some wolves. What you even? That's the Hereford. Welcome. Greetings. Do my eyes play tricks? Is it Geralt, the famed White Wolf? Indeed. How do you know me? I've heard about you from our friend, Mausak. Hmm? I lost my memory and don't remember Mausak. A pity. Perhaps I can help, if you stay for a few years. <laughs> I must attend to urgent matters. Yes. Yeah, Mausak was a character in the books. Decent guy. Pretty cool guy. We have mutual friends? You might say so. My former poker partner, Mousak, <laughs> mentioned you. It has been a while since we last met. I play. So we might sit down to a game sometime. When you've had some practice, come see me. For some real poker. <laughs> Let's ask him about the Scarlet Tail too. Yes. 
What do you think of the Scoia'tael? I'm uninterested in political conflicts. The druids prevail because we possess nothing that kings covet. They, in turn, know we pose no threat to their power. They may disapprove of you sheltering Scoia'tael. We help all those in need as long as they respect our customs. The elves respect and understand nature. And humans do not. <laughs> not all, sadly. Rivers near cities are befouled with waste. Once great forests are logged without restraint. Animals that once thrived have become scarce. I see. Yes. And that is also true in the real world. Farewell. And not to be a big old tree-hugging heavy, but it is a problem. Luckily, we're slow. With we, I mean everyone on this, on this planet. We're slowly realizing that, hey, it's not a good idea. Quinblade. <laughs> what are you doing here? Why aren't you with your elves? The Druid's Grove acts as a sanctuary where I can quietly think, lay plans. My going to Vizima presents an unnecessary risk. Part of the unit inside Vizima is accomplishing plenty. So they have a unit inside the Zima. I can sense something stirring, and at some point we'll probably need to take a stance on that. Why do you hate humans so much, Yaven? <laughs> Why? I assume you don't mean ideology and the like, and you would rather hear some dark secret from deep within my soul. You assume correctly. <laughs> I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Okay. Agreed. I once lived in a city among humans. I was honest and courteous, respected all their ridiculous customs and laws. Assimilation. I lived that word for years, and during that time I was cheated, sneered at, on occasion beaten and robbed. I felt no hatred for humans. In fact, I felt better than them. I told myself they were simply incapable of controlling their weaknesses, their flaws. I was robbed three times as often as others. Racist slogans were painted on my door in excrement. For years I wondered why. Was I doing something wrong? What could I do to bring peace to my life? And you know what I came to understand? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. <laughs> I was doing nothing wrong. I'd been lying to myself from the outset. Just as the moon will never catch the sun, so humans will never change. They will remain egotistical, envious, petty and fearful of anything they don't understand. And believe me, there's plenty. Matters proceeded quickly thereafter. But that's another story. Now you resemble humans. No, Geralt, definitely not. And you, Witcher? Who are you? You too have experienced human ignorance and hatred. So he has a point, by all means, that you know humans are in general we are as beings, we are awful, awful animals, awful creatures. But there are also still some. And with some I mean the vast majority, really, if you are in the right environment at least. That are the opposite, that are great people, and you will just enjoy being with them. And hopefully, you're one of those people too. <laughs> that just, you know, spreads joy and positive energy just because you can and because that's what you want to do. That won't stop pe other people from being absolute dickheads, though, if they are dickheads by nature. But that's a way larger thing than this video game, so. Let's save that for later chunks, shall we? Uh, let us see. But I feel no contempt for them. I don't look down on them, and I don't generalize. Humans are how they are, and I'll make no effort to change or fight them. I'll adapt. Evolution, even. Uh, you're trying to make the sun stand still. To me, elves hardly differ from humans. I don't understand you, and I don't like your arrogance. You dream of a lost time that will never return, no matter how many Dwan you slay. Dwan being the other word for human. I'm as much an outcast as you, Yevon. I see your point, but I have no interest in torturing human villagers. Mm. 
Let's go for two. That's seem we're both damning humans and him at the same time. You're trying to make the sun stand still. To me, elves hardly differ from humans. I don't understand you, and I don't like your arrogance. You dream of a lost time that will never return, no matter how many Duan you slay. We shall see, Geralt. Hmm. Why do you hate humans so much, Yavin? <laughs> Why? I assume you don't mean ideology oh. and the like. You assume I'll answer your See, it was just not great out because uh, <laughs> we didn't check out everything in it. So Agreed. No. I once I felt for you. No. I was they were now you No. You're true. We shall Okay. And it jobs for me. It's just why not? Have any jobs for me? I have a mission for you. One not entirely related to the struggle for freedom. Yavin cut to the chase. We have learned that the ruins of an elven temple have been found in the sewers beneath Vizima. Not surprising given the city was erected on elven foundations. We think Lara Dora may have been there, and may have left something behind. Who? You will learn everything if you agree to help. I sent a unit there, but I fear something has gone wrong. I need you to find out what happened. Maybe. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. I'd be interested to hear about Lara. Lara Doran. Ep Sheerdal was an elven sorceress. An N7. A knowing one. She carried Hen Ikir. Elder blood. Which puzzles even us elves. As fate would have it, Lara fell in love with a human sorcerer. Kragenon of Lod. Other humans could not bear it, and began persecuting them. They became outcasts, shunned by all around them. No pleas would soften the stone hearts of the cruel and merciless Duan. When Lara, begging mercy not for her but for her unborn child, grabbed the door of the royal carriage, at the king's behest a man-at-arms lashed out with his cutlass, severing her fingers. She fled the city, sought shelter in a forest. When night descended and the frosts came, Lara faded on a hill amidst the trees. She gave birth to a daughter whom she protected with what warmth remained in her waning body. Though a blizzard raged through the night, spring suddenly appeared on that hill, and Fenewed bloomed. Now those flowers grow only in Dol Blathana, and where Lara breathed her last. You must understand the importance of any artifacts. She was exceptional, someone whose loss defies words no matter what the language. Farewell. That's quite a different story from uh, previous thing. We've already been down that in sewers. Yeah. Cregan of Lord. Uh, Yeah, different story. All depending on. It's men the Sousa Vesima. It's more. Does she have anything new to say? Wind blade. No. Farewell. Good okay. Let's see. I do indeed. Dare to save over. This one, yeah. Whoa. Whoops. Oh, I'm not complaining about free boosts. An axe may be worth more than a torch. Lumberjack's camp's down there. I'd be thinking if I if I and Geralt so despises or so despise the Skeletal, why am I agreeing to help the Haven with these minor tasks? Because they are not political, really, as such. Once it's anything big from the Order or from the Skeletal, it's a big no, as you've seen and as we've experienced before. Now let's just go for a straight beeline towards. Uh, Vasca. It was Vasca, right? Uh, Vasca's house. Mm. 
But yeah, we humans are fearful and all means degenerate creatures. And in a way, he takes political doctrine or strong political ideological beliefs to try to, you know, counteract our biological. What's the word again? Determinations. That's why, in a way, maybe. Now, this is all pocket philosophy, so hang on tight. We invented religion and so on to be able to evolve our brains or our mentality because biologically we're still cave people. Our brains have not, have not really evolved since we're Oonga Boongas, since straight up Oonga Boongas, living in caves and all. And yet we've developed tools, because that was what we developed our brains to be able to. To make plans, to think. And because of that we have made tools, we've made video games. We have not improved our biology. We are still made for things we don't really do anymore. That is also why, if we don't exercise, if we don't do anything, if you sit on our flat asses or fat asses, in case you are, have been sitting down for too long and playing play video games or watch TV all day. Sure, you, you'll engage your brain in an activity, well, no, video games for example. We're getting told a story, in the case of this one, and there's some slight trouble solving and problem solving as well. Have to, you know, think. Others are just pure adrenaline food and so on, but sorts of bass can then continue the ranting. Greetings! Much has changed. Townsfolk have violated our swamp. Mm. Who are these strangers? Dry ones. How dreadful. They drove off the lumberjacks and many were slain. They carry off our kin. The water lords are angry. Only the druids dare remain in the grove. Anything else while I was away? A great battle between a man with a fiery soul and an elven lord. Who won? Our lords were victorious. Praise be to them! May I ask a question? What? <clears throat> Tell me about this battle. The man with the fiery soul came with his steel-clad brothers. They angered the lords and dark waters engulfed them. The one who steps lightly through shadow and whose heart is consumed by hatred went to face them. They met in a terrible, savage battle, staining the waters red. Who won, you ask? The fire or the shadow? My answer is... neither. Thanks. Any other questions? Yeah, the Squirtle and the Order thought... None of them really won. Allegedly. Even though we've also heard earlier that the Order, for all means, won. But not from the point of view of these villages. And from that point of view, they are deep water lords with the true winners. I heard you're having problems. Drowners again? Yes. But we have another problem. Speak, Veska. Bandits with salamander badges are forcing my kin to gather herbs. That's very interesting. They separate our kin into groups. Armed guards watch them. Where are they? I saw one group by the Fallen Tower. Please help them. I'll reward you. Their boss, Roland Blyneim, is an evil man. Kill him. I'll do just that. Let's see if we can sell to her. What? We can sell to her, I mean, sell the diamond. We can't. We can sell food, though, or buy food. I think our food stores look decent. So. Free the brickmakers were in three places, the cave, the glade, and in the collapsed tower. So, cave, the glade, and the tower. So, those were just, whoops, back where we came from. Mm. You know, we humans, our brains and our biology has not changed faster than our, well, our inventions. 
Which means that if we don't nurture the parts, our bodies and so on, in ways that satisfy our unga bunga brain to go, yes, we are healthy, or then we will grow unhealthy and we will die. Literally. That's also with regards to morality and so on, while we've developed morals and morality compasses really. We've invented texts that tell us through stories because we humans love a good story that tells us something with a moral because that places us on a deep level for some reason. That huh. It's bad to steal because others will feel bad and something bad will happen to you. You'll anger the, the elements, you'll anger nature, the thing we can't fight. And therefore it is bad. Choice and consequences. That's what we understand, not just be a decent person because it's nicer to everyone. But with some can make do with that, but most people need a reason for why do I need to be good? And that's how sociopathy and psychopathy is born, in a way. The people who are too well developed in the no. Uh, the modern brain thinking or whatever, who can go, huh? If I do something, I can benefit from it. That seems nice. I can trick other people to win myself. To myself. Neat. Okay, was it in the cave? In three ca places. The cave, the glade, and near the collapsed tower. Okay. The glade. Is that in there? We'll land to the cave, no matter what, at least. So I've rested and detoxed. But no, we still have... For five hours... Yeah, we still have plenty of things going on for us. Maybe this is helper. I've got kids, holy shit. Oh, that's high parry stat apparently. And away with <laughs> We are saved at last. Now I came on my own. You're free. Hear that everyone? We're going home. Before you go. Tell me what you knew about Salamandra. They held us at a camp. One group may be by the old logging area. Thank you. Well, so that's a glade. Look at these for spare change and boost. And that's sweat. A oh, goose fad. So wet and dark fad. That's what we want. Gold signal. That's worth money, but it's a minor money. Invented morals to be able to have society function. Blessed be the messenger of the deep. And this is not something I have actual sources for, this is just my own personal interpretation of the world and its events. So I may very well be wrong when I say we invented morals. Hold on. Haven't we been in the cave before? We have, I think, but it's. I'm not playing that. Hmm. Ah, it's blocked off. Of course, because it's the middle of the day, we went in, and it was night time. Which opens up the cave in the actual dark places. <clears throat> but yeah. You can think about it yourself, whether or not uh, you think we invented <clears throat> morals or if I'm full of shit when I say that. But I do believe that morals are... We're, we're pack animals, social creatures at heart. <clears throat> I wouldn't... Level up yet. <clears throat> so it makes sense for us to do it. But yeah. Think about that on your own terms. Yeah. <laughs>